sure you think you're able to survive this mess by being a prince or a princess. You will soon see there's no escaping tragedy. Just because you find that life's not fair, it doesn't mean that you just have to bring It is quiet and I am warm. Hi everybody, Luke Filmboss here and today I'm going to be reviewing Matilda the Musical, which is a Netflix movie musical which is based off of the Broadway musical, which is based off of the 1996 film Matilda, which was based off of the book. So... I just want to start off by saying I really enjoyed the original 1996 film. It's got Danny DeVito and uh, Mara Wilson. Like, it's a really good film. I love it. It gets better the more I watch it. And so I was definitely looking forward to this new Matilda, Matilda the Musical. And I haven't seen, like, the Broadway show, but I had listened to the soundtrack um, a few of the songs multiple times. So I kind of knew what I was getting into with this one, but not quite. But I definitely can say that the music definitely is a very big strength of this movie. And it's one of the many things that gives this movie such its own distinct, like, identity compared to the original. Like, it's very much so a different film. Like, it can stand on its own legs as something different. Um, it's definitely not the same movie, although it does star the same characters. A lot of the same plot and events, but there are some, some plot and like story differences that are like very like drastically different from the other film which definitely also helped to make this thing like its own unique thing it's like especially the the final act like with the trench bull it plays out um accurate i guess to the story of matilda but it's like so much different so much more um dramatic so much more intense suspenseful and especially um, even throughout the movie, uh, it's more emotionally driven, I feel like, than the original. Although I still prefer the original because there is still an emotional center to that film. But this one definitely takes those emotions and kind of stirs them up a bit. And you, it, I guess drama is the best way I can say it. Like, it gets you to feel a little bit more intense, um, like an intense emotion for these characters than you do in the original. The original is much more a feel-good movie, whereas this one is, but it's also just trying to take you on an emotional roller coaster, which I think the other one was more just to give you a sense of uh, happiness and, like, sense of victory more so, whereas this one does do that, but it also plays with emotions of sadness, of fear, and other emotions like that much more, which is a good thing, and I definitely liked it. That wasn't the problem. I thought that was actually really good about this movie. There is just more problems in this movie, whereas the original Matilda, I feel like, is almost done perfectly um, to, like, invoke every sense of, like, goodness out of that film. Like, it was nothing... I don't think there was any missteps in that film, like, cast-wise, story-wise, or anything. Whereas this film, there was a few problems. Uh, the ending was both the best and the worst part. I feel like there was a missed opportunity at the end, um, especially pertaining to the song Revolting Children. I don't know how it plays out in the actual Broadway musical, but I felt like it was kind of misplaced in the final act because it happens after the trench bull has already been, like, shooed off the property. And, like, I feel like if the kids had revolted while she was still kind of there, like, not in power, like, definitely have Matilda kind of, like, shake her up a lot, but, like, have her still be there, and then the kids revolt while she's trying to get out of the school, so that it feels more like they're revolting against her, and not just having a big, yay, we're free, let's trash up the school party kind of thing, like, it, it didn't really work the best, like, it wasn't terrible, I just, like, while watching that scene, it's just, like, 
what is the point of the kids doing this? Like, it's entertaining to watch, I guess, but it would have meant more if the Trunchbull hadn't already left. So that's just one of my... The things that I really thought was wrong with the way the ending played out. But there was also a lot of good stuff that I don't want to spoil because it plays out much differently. Whereas that is like part of the story of Matilda. The Trunchbull gets um, like kicked out of the school. <laughs> um, there is a lot more to the third act that is much different than the original film. So I don't want to spoil that, but it's actually pretty good and pretty. That's like where it gets dark. Um, but it's like, it's really good and it's actually kind of fun. So overall, it's not a bad movie. It's actually a really good movie. Um, it's fun. The execution was done well. The cinem cinematography is really good. Most of the casting was good. Most of the kids were cast pretty well. Most of them just don't live up to the original cast. Um... But uh, some of them were all right. Like, Mr. and Mrs. Uh, Wormwood were all right. Like, obviously, they weren't going to top Danny DeVito. I mean, maybe some people think they did. Danny DeVito is just like, he did something really good with the first Matilda. And then you have some characters like um, Bruce, the, who's like the fat kid who eats the chocolate cake. Like, he's iconic. In this movie, he's like, a short little skinny kid who they put into like a fat like a fat body suit like a fat man suit only it, it's not even like a real like fat suit they literally like put this kid like i don't know it's like they shoved a pillow up his shirt or something it looks it's look his belly like looks so weird in this movie it's like some sort of deformed giant tumor or parasite growing in his stomach while his arms and legs are like skinny as rails. It's like kind of weird to watch him, especially when he like dances for the songs and stuff. It's like, why not just cast a chubbier kid who looks like, like the original Matilda and the Matilda musical. I think both did that. I don't know why they cast a tiny little kid to play that role. It, it was just weird. Not to mention his character in this just kind of, it seems off, especially with the ending. He kind of leads the whole Revolting Children musical number at the end, even though he kind of, you know, gets put in the chokey and then he's like a coward the rest of the movie. Like, even while all the other kids are like rising up against the trench bowl, he kind of just cowers down. But then all of a sudden, when she's gone, he just like stands up. <laughs> acts like he's this brave revolting it's like he did not earn that at all like sure he ate the cake and def it wasn't really in defiance of the trunchbull he was just doing it to try to save his skin and then when he didn't he just got scared it's a, a whole thing i could go on with a lot of like problems with how this ending played out but it was still a it was a good ending so yeah also you have um what's her name Miss Honey. Uh, Miss Honey was played in this movie by Lashana Lynch, I think her name is. And I think she was in Captain Marvel. Like, she's not a bad actress, I guess. But she's just, she has no life in her. Like, her performance was kind of lifeless, I hate to say. Like, the original Miss Honey, I loved the performance and the portrayal. This version just seems so emotionless, so stale, so blank. Even in scenes where she's, like, having, like, really emotional moments. And, like, when she's li literally screaming at the top of her lungs in celebration at Bruce eating all the chocolate cake. It's just, like, seems more off and weird than it does seem like this great thing. Like, Miss Honey, I think, was miscast. I feel like they could have gotten someone better. She just did not sell it. There was one really good scene with her in it. And it did. It's like one of the emotional. Most emotional parts of the movie. It's like part of the emotional core of the movie. 
And I feel like she just doesn't. She's not the reason it was good. Like it, there were so many other factors, mostly the music, but also the child actress who plays her and some other elements that just make that scene really good. And quite frankly, while she didn't ruin the scene, she did fine. She's not like offensive or anything in the role. She just doesn't really give it much life. And so that was disappointing for me. Once again, not a terrible part of the movie, just something that drags it down a little bit for me. The new actress for Matilda, I believe her name is Alicia Ware. Um, don't quote me on that, but she did a really good job. I really liked her performance. She gives this strong, fun, emotional performance. And it's almost unfair to compare her to the original um, Mara Wilson. It just doesn't seem fair because she, the original just was perfect. Like, Matilda was perfectly cast. And this new Matilda is really, really good. And so, it's unfair to compare her to the original because on... On her own, like standing alone, this movie is pretty good and she does an, a fantastic job as Matilda. And so I would definitely want to see her in more movie projects. That's what I got to say about Matilda. She's really good. Um, and then you have Miss Trunchbull. And Emma Thompson definitely went all out for this role. She is probably the only character in the movie that I think maybe tops the original actress um, from the original. Although it's very close, but I think Emma Thompson actually, after watching this movie a few times, I think she might actually have the edge on the best portrayal of Miss Trunchbull, which is actually pretty cool that this movie actually got a win uh, against the original, which I, it's probably one of my favorite movies. Um, but yeah, uh, Agatha Trunchbull was ruthless in this movie. She was crazy. She was kind of scary at times. She's gross. She's everything she needed to be. And then Emma Thompson's performance just gives her so much fire and adds to that craziness of the character. And it was done very well. The musical numbers once again helped, which is how a good musical works. The music strengthens the story and the characters. And so it was all pretty good with a few flaws, mostly at the end and mostly revolving around the characters of Bruce and Miss Honey. But for the most part, it's a really solid, fun time. I loved some elements. Some were just kind of like, okay elements, and then some were bad. But for the most part, the good in this movie far far outweighs the bad there's so much fun uh, so much emotion so much music that you can just dance to and have a fun time singing i would i'm probably gonna listen to this soundtrack multiple times it's a bop in the end i give matilda the musical an 86 percent overall in quality and enjoyment for an overall score of 86 across the board Thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell to help you be on the lookout for more videos from Luke Gumboss.